Hello and welcome to the M. Dickey Show LP. If you've not heard of M. Dickey before, he's a solo developer, which, well, he basically makes everything himself, right down to the coding, the graphics, the textures, everything. He's a one-man show, and he's got a fucking big ego. And basically, this game is like Jerry Springer. You can fight, punch people and kick people, and basically kill them. And we're going to jump straight into the season mode. You're fired. Uh, well, basically, the gameplay, it's two people. It's like a brawler, basically. You have an arbitrary storyline. You pick who you want to go against or what side you want to be on. And uh, you go from there, really. The funny thing of this game is all of the segments are voiced by M. Dickey himself, which are... <laughs> yeah... I'll leave it up to you to decide. I love them graphics. Vincent, don't cross the bus. <laughs> well, yeah, nice. Job hangs in the balance. Oh dear. I know you've been sat backstage wondering exactly why I brought you on today's show. Well, let me put you out of your misery. And reveal to the whole world the reason I brought you on today's show. You see, I'll make it real easy for you. You're a fire! You're a fire! You know. What? I can't believe it. You brought me on the show to say that. All this morning you were smiled. Hey, come on in, Dickie Show. I've got something great to tell you. I've got something great to share with the whole world. Turns out you're gonna let me go. Well, you're just a no good two faced lad. What's your problem? What's my problem? <laughs> my problem is that I found out that you've been fraternizing with the enemy. I found out that you've been making deals on the sly <laughs> with other companies. And quite frankly, I don't appreciate it. But my biggest problem is one of my star employees not doing the right thing for the business that made it. Not doing the right thing, quite frankly, for the employees and the management that got him where he is today. You're a cold, bitter piece of shit. You know that? If you can't have me, nobody can. Is that your deal? Well, you know what? I see you brought me out on TV, hoping that I wouldn't make a big deal, hoping that I wouldn't make a scene. Well, you know what? You chose the wrong show for that. You see, the M. Dickey show is all about making a scene. It's all about justice and getting what's coming to you. That's exactly what's going to happen right now. You want to fight? I'll give you a fight. You want to take my job? I'll take your life. Oh. I hope you can hear that, because he's a bit quiet. Coming in, you fucking arsehole. <laughs> yep. Coming in, you cunt. Oh. Yeah, well, this M. Dickey chap, he makes everything himself. So, right down to the code and the physics, if you can call them physics. The textures, the models, in fact, which are lovely. Nice and high poly, of course. And yeah, basically, you just... Every every storyline, uh, yeah, nice. Every storyline you kill, well, not kill, but I think you can kill people on this game. You can certainly decapitate them, take off their limbs, and basically just kick the shit out of them. The controls for this game are less than desirable, you could say. Um, well, let's take a look. There's punch. Well, it's not punch, is it? Kick and punch, grapple. I think you can do resting moves. And yeah, basically. I think I don't know if you can. Uh... Yeah, well, yeah, well, it's a bit samey, but back in its day when it came out, I think it was quite fun. But as a game, someone watching it is pretty fucking shit, to be honest. If I remember, there's a little backstage bit here. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> How fucking you supposed to be fighting me? Oh no, put him through the chair. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's terrible. I can do that in real life. Oh no. Oh fuck. Oh, oh 
box now, ain't I? Shit. The actual host is M. Dickey's little character he makes himself. Apparently he wears that hat in real life. What a cool guy. This and Federation Booker was Matt Dickey's first commercial releases. And yeah, people actually paid money for these games. Including me, actually. <laughs> it was good at the time, leave me alone. And, uh, yeah. And every one of these, I think there's about 20 storylines to this game, and they're all hilariously bad. This is obviously a spin off of WWE or WWF. Wait, uh, and this game has possibly got the best AI in the world, clearly. <laughs> I think you can uh, get out of here. If I remember, I think you can bring them along here. Get out of the way. There's a little life bar up on the top, I think. I don't know if you have to get them all the way down to win the game, so to speak. The host. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's lovely. To win each segment, take a brick. Right, shit is getting real. Come here, you cunt. Oh, fuck off. Oh, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> basically the same as this but set in a wrestling ring with a kind of Smackdown 2 kind of career um, career mode which is just ongoing which I'm always pissed oh fuck I'm bollocks now oh dear stay away laters <laughs> yeah no, yeah nice yeah since I've played this but each the more violent you are there's a little meter down on the side the more violent you are the the better the rating you get for the show but the kind of TV bosses don't like it or something yeah and that's that's uh, episode one I think and this is the next one which you'll see in the next episode <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed gosh <laughs>